This is my radiator for 1985 Buick. Sitting in my office. Shipped from uh, Rock Auto for $80. Uh, I think uh, AutoZone was $160. So, uh, so anyways, uh, here's my office. This is where I work. Just, uh, that's all there is to it. So anyways, here's the, uh, the old rad, which I still have to drain the, uh, transmission fluid from it. And, uh, put it back in the tranny. The new one, as you can see, it's all aluminum with the plastic caps. It was $80 on, uh, Rock Auto. Went to AutoZone, $160. Twice the price. I don't know what stupid people shop at AutoZone because it's just every part I buy it's half or one third of the price if you buy it online. Same parts, same part number, same company, same everything. Usually it's at least half or half the price and rock auto. And a lot of times it's one third of the price at AutoZone. So they're making a killing. The profits these guys make. Because uh, I was working on my Crown Vic over there. I was putting new shocks and new ball joints. And uh, and the shocks were uh, $12 each and the ball joints were like $7 each. With shipping was less than $40. And uh, I walked into AutoZone, they priced me new two shocks which were $39 and ball joints were $39. This is Duralast, uh, you know, they're all brand which is all made in China. And, uh, and the total was $139 with tax and everything. So, and I got it for under $40 at Auto's uh, Rock Auto. Shipping was uh, $9, came from New Jersey. I placed the order on Monday around noon. I had it on Tuesday around 9 a.m. A FedEx pulled in, I had my radiator. So today is Wednesday. Back to the Buick. So what I had to do, this is a kind of simple job, you know, it's just a bunch of bolts on top that takes off uh, takes off this plastic cover here. That might be metal, I don't know, I think it's plastic. A few bolts, the only thing is this engine mount here. Uh, as you can see, this actually holds the engine in place and it's bolted here and, and, and here, four places. As you can see, I have to clean it up. There's a, there's a lot of gunk in there. Which, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up really clean and I'll put that thick uh, sticky wax all over. Because this thing is not actually bolted on, it's actually welded to the frame. This uh, radiator support, so if that ever rots out, uh, I'm in trouble, you know, because there's nothing else. Usually the radiator support is a separate part that you bolt on, onto the frame or onto the body of the car. In this case... This thing, this is the body of the car, and the radiator support is actually spot welded right on. But anyways, so yeah, it was just few bolts on top. The engine mount, then I had to obviously disconnect all the hoses. I had to disconnect the uh, uh, the transmission lines that go in the coolant, which I stripped. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I stripped a little screw on it, the little nut. Uh, had to use pliers and stuff to get it out, but I got broken loose, so it's no big deal. And then, uh, didn't even have to remove the fan, I just unbolted this thing, kind of swings away. So, easy job, you know. No big deal, it's actually, I, I'll spend probably more time cleaning this thing and rust proofing it than I, than I will replacing the whole radiator, because it's such a simple job. And, uh, I've drained the, uh, I've drained the coolant. Now this is the coolant I just put in a week ago, so it's all nice and clean. You know, I flushed the engine and and, uh, and radiator four times, had it run for over an hour with different detergents, so, so it's, I know I had a nice and clean uh, system. When I put this new antifreeze, and now a week later, you know, I found the leak on the radiator, so I had to drain it all, but uh, uh, no big deal. Like I said, I'll put it back on and, and have it uh, all fixed. I mean, I could... Technically, I could try to find the hole here and plug it. You know, there's many ways. A lot of times you can you strip these little aluminum webs in between, and you take the uh, 
the passage here, you cut it and you crimp it on both sides to eliminate the spot that leaks, basically you're bypassing it. But this thing actually leaks in two different places. So I'm not gonna bother with it, obviously if I have a new radiator, but uh so this one's going to the scrap scrapyard. Now that I start cleaning everything, this is what I noticed. You got some rust over there. It's just like my Chevy Caprice. The only rusty damn spot is by uh, by the battery. You know the battery acid leaks out and just eats the freaking uh, paint off. So, so I'm gonna pull the battery out and then uh, I'm gonna clean it all and apply this gooey wax to everything. So so the acid no longer makes the contact with the metal. Okay, so here's my, uh, that's how much I used up of the uh, wax, which is a toilet gasket. And you can see, man, I smeared this crap all over. It is so sticky. And, uh, hope you can see this well. Down in there. You know, to just keep any kind of, any kind of corrosion away. Uh... Spread all over this gooey stuff, and um, I'll, I'll still have to do all this, but I have to pull the battery out. But that's gonna keep uh, all the rust away for a long, long time because nothing beats this wax stuff that people use for uh, toilet rings. So it took me a couple of hours, it's almost dark, moon's coming up, you know, because I spent extra time cleaning everything, but uh. Yeah, I got the new radiator in. As you can see, nice and shiny. Just uh, fired up the uh, engine, warm up everything, make sure there's no leaks. Now, of course, I spilled the freaking coolant all over the place. You know, working in the dark, but uh, that's okay. So anyways, this job can be done uh, under an hour to replace the radiator, no big deal. No major issues or anything. Especially it's nice to work with uh, a car that has no corrosion. Everything comes off so easy.